Hey, well, how's it going, guys? This is Abong Eka, the Prince of Pricing and Prospecting, founder of Economics and also the founder of Economics Academy. Now, I want to share a quick message with you because a lot of people out there, uh, they spend their time on social media, and it's, it's uh, the new way to not only get news but also get information. And this got me thinking about things that I see, not only in my feed but in the feed of feeds of others, but I see online in general. And if you're not careful... Right. If the thing is, I notice if you're not careful in your life, let me just turn this thing up. If you're not careful in your life, what ends up happening is you end up quickly getting distracted. And this quick video was to remind you about not letting the distractions of others distract you. And here's why you'll watch your feed and you'll see people on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat posting their wins, posting their successes, posting how they're they're flying and all this stuff and the great things that they're doing. And that is awesome and that is great. But what you have to what you have to remind yourself is that is their particular journey. And not everybody who are making moves, not everybody who's stacking cash, not everybody who's successful is making those kinds of moves in a public setting. Now here's why I'm telling you that. I went to the Washington Wizards game with my girlfriend yesterday or last night, um, game two, or sorry, game four against the Boston Celtics, and we were in a suite. So there was a bank, a very well-known bank, which I won't mention because I have a partnership with another bank, but this bank invited us and one of the representatives there invited us to watch a game in their suite. Next level stuff. Not the basic suite. It looked like the inside kitchen of a model home. That's the level that we were working with. The kind of stuff they had in the fridge was next level. So the thing is this. I ended up going to another suite with another friend of mine who was, who was also there as well. And the guy who hosted that suite was at the Verizon, was at the Verizon suite. And inside that particular suite, the guy I was talking to, um, he, he recently had, in the last several years, he had a major uh, exit event. So what that basically means in business parlance is he ended up selling his company for a lot of money. The thing is, in the D.C. area, I've met and I know so many people who've literally had major events. I, I, for example, they've sold their businesses for 20, 30, 50, 100. I even know a few who've sold for a couple hundred million. Walking by one of the minority owners of the actual Washington Wizards and the Washington Capitals. You understand what I'm saying? He's not on social media posting about stacks of money. He's not talking crazy. He's not saying, I'm here on this plane, I'm over here, I'm over there. He's not saying, I'm making all this money. He's not talking about what he's doing. He's just doing it. So, if you're not careful and you're watching people on social talk about what they're stacking and what they're doing and everything else and it's not in line with who you are, you will quickly get distracted and you'll think you'll need, you need to do exactly what they're doing, talking a lot more about your wins than about what you're doing, right? And so the thing is, a lot of people won't share with you their failures. They'll talk about how they've done all these great things. They won't talk about how they failed. A lot of people that I talk about who've had these major events worth hundreds of millions of dollars, they all quickly tell me about how they failed multiple, multiple of times. And I've learned from those types of people. I, in my particular experience, had a business where I actually failed, was in debt, $20,000 that I've since taken care of. You have to understand, we all go through difficulties, but you cannot allow yourself to get distracted. What you have to do is focus intently on what your journey is, what role you play in your journey, and not waste your time worrying about what plane somebody's on, how much money they have on the table, and whatever the hell else they're doing that's pretty awesome. Focus on what you're supposed to be doing, and you too can have the ability to live that kind of life. You dig? So if you want to learn more about me, take a look at uh, the links below. Click, like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I will see you soon.